We want to call on Kevin McCarthy to do the right thing. He has to represent his constituents here in Kern County and the other parts of, of, the, of this uh, California that he represents. He has the authority, he has the power uh, to let these voices be heard, the voices that are behind me right now, to say we need a fair immigration bill. I just came back from uh, the border towns of McAllen and uh, a tornado near El Paso. And talking to some of these families, it is so tragic uh, because they do not know where their children are. One woman, her seven-year-old daughter, to this moment, does not know where her daughter is when she was separated. Now, we are glad that there have been some court decisions, a recent one, as you may know today, that says that they have to reunite these families. A judge in San Diego uh, County just said they've got to reunite these families within 30 days uh, as of today. So we know that there is work that is being done uh, on that level uh, by the different court decisions. But we know that we need to do more. This crisis was manufactured. It didn't have to happen. These families did not have to suffer. And I don't think there's anybody, Republican or Democrat, in Kern County that would say we want these children and these families to suffer the way that they have been suffering. We know that these families are refugees. They are legal refugees. They are not criminals. They should not be painted as criminals. And so we want to say here, Kevin McCarthy, do your job. Our taxpayers are paying your salary uh, to represent us, uh, to represent the United States of America, and to give these families the kind of justice that they deserve. It's our tax dollars that are making this happen. And so we want you to do your job. Families are the most sacred thing in our society. They bring up our kids. Families are not to be broken up. Mm. I cannot understand and I cannot believe that in this great country we've decided or had been decided by an administration to break up families. I was so disappointed that that was something that was taken upon and manufactured um, by this administration. And that does not reflect of our American values. As an American citizen, I am embarrassed. I'm embarrassed by that. And I would call on Kevin McCarthy, and I appreciate the court system that's decided that we need to reunite these families, but I appreciate that all the communities coming out in support of these families that were divided. I call, I call upon Mr. McCarthy to be a leader represent our community well by bringing families together, by supporting everyone in our communities, not just one segment of the group. We all live here, we're all residents. We all deserve an opportunity to succeed in life. We're all human beings. We should all be humane to all societies. We know that the separation of families, the separation of youth, the separation of children from their parents, whether it's three days, three hours, or three weeks, we know that that separation is immoral and it's psychologically traumatizing. And we as a country need to stand behind those children and we need to make sure that we have their backs. And you know, there's so much to be lamentful for right now. There's so much to be angry about, but I do wanna kinda end on a positive note and that is the country is rallying behind these children the way we are today. The country is rallying beyond, behind immigrants and their families in ways that I haven't seen in my lifetime. Thousands of people have poured to the border. Many more are pouring into D.C. on the 30th. And we're expecting to see a mass mobilization of, of allies and folks who are supportive of our undocumented community uh, this week and the years to come. And in November, we have an election. We have many elections to run. And we're gonna be at the helm, making sure that the right people are representing our interests and sitting down with us once and for all to support legislation that reflects our values and the people that we want, to, the country that we wanna see. There's federal legislation to end a family separation, but this is a direct cause of lack of support from our local elected officials, Congressman Valdeo, 
Congressman Kevin McCarthy, who is in a position of power. He is the majority leader and may be the next Speaker of the House. We have a broken immigration system, and it is their fault. It is not uh, fixed yet. We need comprehensive immigration reform with a pathway towards citizenship. We also need to reform our border security because the way that ICE is acting right now is terrorizing families by allowing the separation that's going on right now. This is completely a policy of the Trump administration yes. and it is shameful yes. that Congressman Valadeo had to send out a survey asking us whether this is wrong. I think that just shows a lack of uh, moral compass and a very just bad and poor judgment. And so I'm here today calling on our congressman here in the local area to take action, to call out the, Trump's Amer the Trump administration's terrorizing of families, to vote for this bill, and ultimately pass comprehensive immigration reform with a pathway towards citizenship. Dolores joined a nationwide fast, Break Bread Not Families, to honor the 2,400 and more children who have been separated from their families. We are asking the community to fast for 24 hours and that we carry it on for 24 days. So we have people with us today who are going to make the sacrifice of going for 24 hours without food. Um, they will be drinking water, of course. And we are encouraging anyone who is fasting, anyone in the community who decides to join us, to please consider the savings from the 24 hours of fasting. Consider sending that to breakbreadnotfamilies.org. They are providing legal counsel. They are providing support for refugee families. My family came as refugees from Southeast Asia. And I recognize that many of my friends and my loved ones also came um, from the border. And, uh, you know, out of need, more than desire for jobs, they were forced to come here, and we should be giving them asylum. So I fast today in solidarity, in solidarity with the families and with the children and with everyone protesting um, this traumatic policy um, uh, separating families um, across the nation. One of the reasons that I'm fasting today is because I'm actually in a mixed status family. Um, both of my parents are undocumented, and two of my sisters have DACA. So even though I am a U.S. citizen, I know the importance uh, that an immigration um, bill would do for us and that we really need to fix this immigration system. And that's why I'm fasting is even though I'm an American citizen, I know that so many families, including mine, gets really affected by everything that's not getting done. Today I'm fasting in solidarity and also to make a statement um, for all the 2,400 children that are separated by their families. Right now they are scared, they are alone, they are traumatized, they are being traumatized, and I want Congress to understand, I want Trump to understand that what they're doing is inhumane, and it's very traumatic, and please, if everyone could join us in this fasting, and hopefully we could make a difference. And I come from a family that we're native to this America. We suffered the trauma that these children are suffering, and this is unfair, treating families and children as criminals, mm. dehumanizing them, treating them, putting them in cages. I'm here to sacrifice, to fast for 24 hours, to stand up for the innocent, the trauma that has been done to our nation and continues to be done every day to all these innocent people. People come here seeking asylum and safety, and we should all stand up together and make our voices heard and support our brothers and sisters. We are being attacked in every way, and this is, this is enough. We ask Congress to stand up and do your job. Vote for Keeping Families Together Act. Do it now. And I'm here because my grandparents and great-grandparents were all immigrants uh, fleeing Tsarist Russia, and uh, I feel a responsibility to stand up for people who are trying to get into this country. And I'm also doing it to call attention to the fact that the reason why people have to leave their countries is because of U.S. economic and political policy in Latin America, especially El Salvador, Mexico, Guatemala. Why would people leave such amazing countries and take these risks if they didn't have to? And so I just wanted to call attention to that and, and hope that everybody will stand with uh, Dolores Huerta on this issue. The, what you would have spent on food, please send it to breakbreadnotfamilies.org. Break bread not families not org. This, uh, this organization will be distributing uh, whatever funds they can raise uh, to the organizations that are down at the border working with these families. 
And uh, one thing, many of these families do not have legal counsel. You're not gonna believe this, but there are three and four year old children that are being taken to court to represent themselves because they do not have attorneys to represent them. So uh, part of this is a big call out also for all those legal organizations out there if you can do some pro bono work right here at the California border, down there in San Isidro, Otay Mesa. They need attorneys. They need attorneys to go to court with these children. So this is a very big crisis. It's a desperate situation. And we have somebody right here that can fix it. His name is Kevin McCarthy. Yes. Kevin McCarthy, okay? We want him to step up and that's why we're here.